Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner, guys. Uh, this is Martin and Julie, your hosts. And we're back in our little corner mm -hmm. of the studio where we first began filming. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is how I came up with the uh, name Hobby MJ Corner. Hobby Corner. Mm -hmm. It's a little corner of the studio. Mm -hmm. So uh, today I want to talk about uh, Deep Wars, the mm -hmm. game Deep Wars. Just a, a brief overview of the game mm -hmm. itself. Right, a little bit of the lore, mm -hmm. and uh, then we're gonna show you guys the table that I have set up for Deep Wars. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, you're like, good. Oh my god, it's so nice. And uh, yeah, it's a little coral reef section. And tomorrow, Saturday, Deep Wars That's is right. gonna be on our spotlight. That's we're gonna be right. playing we're some Deep Wars. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm using the um, version 1.8, that's the one I have. I have, there is a newer version, uh, and I have that digitally, but I haven't been able to really look at it right mm -hmm. now. What we're going to do is we're going to play by this version okay. because I know this version more. That's fine with me. And then later on, we can try some of the changes that they made and see how we like it, compare and contrast. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for tomorrow's game, it's going to be version 1.8. Okay. okay. Uh, so Deep Wars is set, and I'm... I'm Giving Julie a little bit of background because she's never played Deep Wars, no. um, and up until now you didn't really know a lot about what it was. You've heard me talk a lot. Oh about yeah, it. I've heard you talk a lot about it. So I knew a little bit about it, uh -huh. you know, but not a lot, not no. not a lot. No, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so Julie chose to play Skelly Horde, and I chose to play um, Fortune Seekers. Now Deep Wars, um, the interesting thing about Deep Wars. One of the things that attracted me, of course, is that it's underwater. Everything's oh, underwater. Yeah, that's what I love about you it, too. Know, yeah, yeah, it's very different. All your terrain is underwater. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of wild creatures, things like sharks and prehistoric creatures, mm -hmm. and all these things mm -hmm. coming together. Um, the idea is that uh, an elder race or an, an alien civilization, so that's the way I describe it, okay. an elder race mm -hmm. here on Earth uh, created... Um, this vast city and it's underground it's you know it's beneath the frozen continent somewhere in the south okay mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. like an underground world beneath the ocean i love that but that idea yeah really and, and, and the other interesting thing is that there is an ocean beneath the ocean right and that ocean is the shadow sea right um there is another game the mm -hmm. parrot game to the force mm -hmm. can't wait i want to play that one too yeah, yeah. it's based on mm -hmm. the shadow sea okay and that one is mm -hmm. that one you actually explore the caverns and, and the continent mm -hmm. itself that's uh, why i think i love it so yeah it's very interesting so deep wars though takes place in this mysterious sea mm -hmm. beneath the sea right <laughs> right i know it's cool it's cool that's really cool and so you have all, all these weird creatures, there's magic, mm -hmm. uh, there is a technology that this elder race had perfected, they were very uh, technologically advanced, okay. and they use these things called ether crystals. Mm -hmm. And ether is a very common element, the so-called fifth element in many fantasy games. So in, in this game, uh, ether is, is an energy force, it's a force that uh, if you tap into it, if you can tap into it, it gives a lot of power. Mm -hmm. So magic, uh, it fuels magic, but it fuels a lot of technology. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this elder civilization, for whatever reason, went extinct. Civilization fell, as many big civilizations mm -hmm. do. Um, and so now, uh, in the story, it takes place in the 1700s. Although, uh, when you play the game, you know, it's, you're playing in the, like, 1700s. That's the era mm -hmm. that, that Deep War takes place. But a lot of the discoveries take place in the late 1600s. So it's mm -hmm. like the game, although you start later, right. there's a lot of history before sure. you, you know. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, there is a, for the Fortune Seekers, and that's the first faction, that's the faction that I'm going to be playing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are the humans. And they come from many different nations, okay. and just as the name uh, says, just as the title right. says, uh -huh. they're treasure hunters. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they they're scientists and treasure hunters, and uh, pirates and mercenaries. There's there's a whole 
locked mm -hmm. on them. Mm -hmm. And basically, one of the primary resources that they're looking for are the ether crystals. Makes sense, sure. That are buried mm -hmm. in beneath the sea. Okay. Sure. So uh, in the game, the fortunes, uh, fortune hunters, um, thanks to Doctor Wormwood, who, okay, who was a character uh, in the story, uh -huh. he designed all of their pressure suits, okay, all right. and all of their weapons and such. So now the fortune hunters have pressurized diving suits with weapons mm -hmm. that they can use to defend themselves and a lot of these weapons run on ether crystals okay okay All right. Makes sense. and uh their scientists are constantly looking for old tech mm -hmm. in these ruins because now uh, the city is completely ruined wait they're, they're looking for old tech mm -hmm. why well, because they're fortune seekers. I right, mean, could you imagine alien technology buried down there? Oh, okay. All the, right. the value that it yeah, would okay. have no, to I, science yeah. no, and, I and everything. What you're talking about. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So, right. so basically, that's the fortune uh, hunters, the fortune mm -hmm. seekers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to see them in just a minute. And basically, it's a, it's a very varied group. And they're uh, good armor, good stats, mm -hmm. good weapons nice range mm -hmm. and everything and then you have uh the other faction that i'm mentioning today is the scaly horde mm -hmm. and that's julie that's me <laughs> why why did you pick the scaly horde do you think uh well i don't like humans very much <laughs> sorry i like some humans uh -huh. <laughs> that's just you know not a real anyway um so that that was i like fish i love you know right so it, i thought it would would be um fun mm -hmm. okay well the the uh skelly uh skelly horde their primary race is this dragon like or, or lizard man mm -hmm. race they're fully aquatic they're marine and mm -hmm. they're like the primary race in the scaly mm -hmm. horde mm -hmm. but then you have these fish people the dragono dragothans or something like that i don't know how, how to pronounce mm, it i don't know <laughs> but they're basically uh fish like humanoids okay and uh, they have a lot of powerful uh, magic and, and cool. things like that, Very shamans cool. and things oh, like I that. Oh, I like yeah. shamans. So, fun. why don't we go to the tabletop and then we'll check out the table, we'll give you guys a brief glimpse of tomorrow's table, mm -hmm. and then maybe do a roll or two just so you get sure. the Sounds idea. Sure. Sounds fun. Okay, right. so this is the table we will have. Yep. And you guys uh, saw a glimpse of this earlier in the other clips so i have my clip on terrains here mm -hmm. for for the ruins it's so so okay so we, awesome. we i we will describe it more tomorrow look at the fish i love the fish that look like, like they're really swimming yeah it's so we crazy. have a fish on different levels we mm -hmm. have these fish swimming high we have another school of right. fish here swimming yeah. low yeah we have the sharks that the fish attract. Mm -hmm. Okay, two shark predators. Yeah. And we have a are. very grumpy eel. Uh oh. Very oh, I love that. That is coming the out of the sponge. Ever. That looks so cool. All right, he he makes the terrain dangerous. He attacks. Okay. Yep. And then we have Julie's faction All here. Right, right here. Okay. And we are using a proxy for one of them. <laughs> and we have the. Uh, Divers down here, the right. fortune seekers. Those are very, very cool. And now, uh, here's we're going to be using these inverted cups. And right. what this is going to represent is depth. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the very interesting things about this game is not only horizontal space, but vertical space. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this diver is at uh, depth one by what the dice says. Okay. And she's all the way up there. Okay, so that's going to affect a lot of things in the game. And you have to be very careful because if you go down a depth level too quickly, mm -hmm. then you get the bends. You can get the bends. Of course. Yes, and of die. Course. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is my uh, homemade kelp. It's awesome. A kelp oh forest. Uh, I made that with plastic and uh -huh. hot glue and all that you stuff. Know, that doesn't even look like a plastic cup. It really doesn't. I mean, yeah, well, the hot I mean, glue if you helps. you look at it, you kind of can see, but it just, it's just yeah. cool. I just love yeah. the way you so make these. So we, we have a, a bunch of cups here, and uh -huh. we'll be able to, um, guys are going to be able to move at 
yeah. higher. You yeah. decide uh, what is his cue. Look at his little stack. Right here. Okay. His uh, cue is on the other side. Is four. Do you want to use one dice, two dice, or three dice? You have and to if think. I fail. Yeah, then... but if you pass, you get more activations. If you pass, right. the more successes you have, the more activations you have. I'll do two. All right, so you're going to go with two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go. I need and a four or higher. On each one, yep. Yep. Four, five. Woo! Okay, so that means two successes. That uh -huh. means that he has two action points. Okay. And now he can do two things. So you can either move him. Okay. And do something or, else, or, or, else or or move or. him twice. Okay. So mm -hmm. you're moving with a, a medium stick. Mm-hmm. So we would go here. Mm-hmm. And you have two actions. So now you have another action to do Let's something. Say all you want to change your depth. All you have to do is spend an action point okay. and and go higher. Put your guy on the cup, and there he is. He's one depth. Now, now, how do you do that, though? What What do you have to well, do? Well, you had two that? action points. Okay. So you could have used one to move the, the, the medium and stake then one to go and one up. to this go up. This is why we will use the dice, because that right. dice will yes, say that I knew. that's yeah. level one. And then if he goes up another level with another action point, right. that he'll be at level two. And that's he's going to be higher. No. All right. So that's how it is. And then he can stay up there and use these fish as cover. Yeah, I love it. It's going to be so fun. I love it. So tomorrow, uh, we'll, we'll have to do a little uh, mock thing together before mm -hmm. the game. So right. we have a, an yep. idea. And again, we're learning, just right. learning. Yep. So. Yeah. And I plan on looking things over tonight, too, before we play. Yeah. Because I need to have a better understanding of the rules. I sure, think. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Uh, well, folks, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Yep. Hope you join us for tomorrow because yep. it's going to be a good time. It's going to be our spot. Absolutely. Game. If you like the video, please hit like because it really does help us and it would be uh, mm -hmm. appreciated. Um, and if you haven't subscribed and you would like to, hit that little subscribe button. Mm -hmm. And we, we play a wide variety of different games, mm -hmm. Oathmark. Uh, we play a lot of uh, sci-fi, fantasy, mm -hmm. anything we can get our hands on. Absolutely. And, of course, my sculpting videos, yes. my foam projects. Yes, yes. All those things. Uh, we really enjoy the comments. We really enjoy the comments that tell us what you want, right? Yeah. Like, so Absolutely. that's great. Keep doing that. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you, folks. Have a good one.